Hey guys, how to go from the pocket? In this video, I'm going to do the top 10 settings that you must change right now. It doesn't matter whether you have an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch, you must change those settings no matter what. So, let's get started. I'm sure most of you use your iPhones every single day or possibly 24 7 but still there are always some very small settings or small information that you don't know about your iPhone which you must learn and change right now. These settings include preventing sending some of your private information secretly to Apple or improving your security or even making your experience even better on your iPhone. So that's why I'm here to cover those up and possibly make your day. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one, advertisements. Yes, advertisement is the most annoying thing that can happen on your iPhone. There are literally ads everywhere, like when you visit a, a web page or even opening an app. And the truth is, is that your iPhone literally sends analytics and some information of how you're using your phone and things like this to Apple. And then Apple delivers, or not only Apple, but every company delivers some very related advertisements of what you're doing in order to attract your eye. But right now, I'm going to show you how to disable this and prevent sending those information. So simply navigate to settings, and then navigate to privacy, and then navigate to analytics. And here make sure share iPhone and watch analytics is disabled. This is going to prevent your iPhone sending those information which include how you're using your phone or even your location and things like this to Apple. And Apple literally uh, promises that they use this information to improve the products but still if you don't want this then definitely disable this feature next still in privacy move to advertising and make sure limit ad tracking is on this is going to prevent sending information like what you're doing on your iphone like for example what interests you for example if you search on a, for a web page or even download an app this information literally is being sent and advertisers using this information to display appropriate advertisements on your iPhone, which makes advertisement even more interesting. But if you don't want that, if you don't want them to know what you, you like, then definitely turn this option on. Back in privacy, go to location services and then scroll to the bottom where it says system services. And then make sure location based Apple ads is off. This literally allows Apple to send you advertisements related on where you are. But who actually wants that? Because no, nobody actually cares about that advertisement. So that's why you should turn this off. And lastly, make sure every option from product improvement is off. This is going to prevent Apple knowing your location, which can keep you a bit more private. Number two, save more storage. Now the title may sound very stupid, but still, Many of you download apps which you use once and then you never use again. So for example, probably half of my, of my no, even, even more than half of my applications that I have downloaded, I never used. Luckily, if you're on iOS 11, Apple had enabled you to remove applications, but not the data. That means that if you remove the application that you have downloaded and, and reinstall it back again, you will still have this data. So for example, if you have downloaded a very large game and you have saved progress and you delete this game and download it again, you will still have this saved progress. So the data within app that you have created is not going to be deleted. So how you do it? So simply navigate to settings again and then go to general, then go to iPhone storage and then make sure offload and used app is enabled. Now if I scroll down to all of my apps, I'm gonna see many applications that I haven't used. So for example, this one. If I click on this, then I click on offload app. It's going to remove the application, but keep the data in it. So this is a very handy feature for those who don't have much storage on their Apple device, including me, where I'll always have been fiddling around how can I remove applications to fit more because come on guys, I only have 16 gigabytes of my iPhone. And so that's why I had struggling so much in the past. Number three, last location. Many of you are using your iPhone for long hours and your iPhone may die before you even realize it, especially if you're having iOS 11. But luckily, Apple has a feature which is called last location, 
which is going to make your iPhone send a signal to all of your devices connected to your Apple ID account if find my iPhone is on, which is going to tell them where your iPhone was located before it died. But that's going to be useful if you lose your phone and your phone is already dead, so you cannot call it or whatever you do. So that's why this feature is going to be very handy for you, including me. So navigate to settings and then go to your Apple ID account, iCloud, and then scroll down until you find Find My iPhone. Click on it, and then here you, you should see the Send Last Location option and simply turn it on. Now, when your battery goes low, it's going to send a signal and then you'll be able to, f to track your phone even if it's dead and you cannot call it. Pretty cool, huh? Number four, reduce image size. This is probably going to be the most important thing because your iPhone gives you the opportunity to reduce the amount of size of images taken by using the camera app by 50%, which is enormous. The good thing about this is that it's going to increase the quality of the images that you capture and also decrease the size. How amazing can this be? But the only downside for this is, is that you must have iOS 11 and also even worse, you have to have an iPhone 7 or newer. Unfortunately, I don't have an iPhone 7, but I can show you what to do. So simply navigate to settings and then scroll down until you see the camera app. And right here below port slow-mo, you should have an option called format. If you click on that, then select high efficiency. This is going to, this feature is going to make the camera app to capture images with those new settings, reducing the size by 50% and of course, increasing the quality of the images. Number five, increase the speaker volume. If you're a partying person and you don't have a speaker, then you can still use your iPhone speaker to play music. But now you're probably gonna call me crazy because the iPhone speaker is not loud enough. But you can still make a small tweak which can increase the volume output. Simply navigate to settings and scroll down until you find music. And then go to EQ, which stands for equalizer, and scroll down until you see late night. This is going to increase the volume of the speaker significantly. If you're still watching this video, then congratulations because the last half of this video is going to be about securing your iPhone even further. And compared to an average person's iPhone, your iPhone is going to be many steps more secured. Number six, two-factor authentication. Yes, Apple does offer two-factor authentication, which is going to be preventing someone from entering your Apple ID account if they know their, your email and your password. So simply email and password is not enough to access your Apple ID you must go to the other device having the Wi-Fi enabled. You're gonna see a passcode sent by Apple, then you're gonna use this passcode to continue the login on the other device on your computer, for example, put this passcode after you put your email and the password, and then you'll be all set. So in order to enable this, simply go to settings, and then go to your Apple ID, go to password security, and enable two-factor authorization. And after that, Anyone who knows your email and the password of your Apple ID is not going to be enough to access your Apple ID without knowing the passcode which Apple is going to send you seconds after they attempt to log in. Number seven, prevent any functionality when your phone is locked. Do you know that if you lock your phone that you can still access Siri or even if you have connected your iPhone to your home, then someone can unlock your door, your, your home door, if they even if they don't know your iPhone password, then that's why this setting is all about. And this is probably gonna make your day. Simply navigate your settings and then scroll down to the ID and passcode. And then put your passcode, assuming that you haven't forgot it. And then scroll down until you find allow access when locked and simply disable any of these that you don't want to be accessible when your phone is locked. So for example, you don't, obviously you don't want home control to be enabled, as I mentioned, because someone who doesn't know the, your iPhone passcode can still use your iPhone and unlock your door of your home, for example. Reply with message. Now no one will be able to reply to the messages if your iPhone is locked. Uh, recent notifications, still you're not going to be able to see notifications on your lock screen uh, if your iPhone is locked. Uh, today view, you can still disable this if you want to and even wallet because obviously you don't want anyone to be able to access your wallet if they don't know your iPhone's password. Now you can still move further to disable everything, but 
I would like to keep them enabled because it's just me, but these don't display any private information. They're not going to allow anyone to access any of your private information, but it still it really depends on you. Number eight, prevent any kind of previews on your lock screen. This world, unfortunately, is a very terrible and dangerous place. And if you don't know about the setting, then anyone can actually see your messages if they turn on your phone, but not unlock them. But what if you, someone sends you a very private message that you only want to see and someone else grabs your phone and sees that message and yells at you in front of everyone else? This is pretty embarrassing, isn't it? So simply navigate to settings and scroll down until you find notifications and click on show previews and then say when unlocked. This is going to allow only to view your messages when your phone is unlocked and any kind of previews that are displayed on your lock screen including a messenger messages or WhatsApp messages and things like this. Number nine, set a SIM pin. If someone steals your phone, takes your SIM, put it in their phone, then they can still access your contacts and things like this. And this can be embarrassed if you decide to store your contact in your SIM card. But this is not going to happen anymore if you set a password on your SIM card. Navigate to settings and scroll down until you find phone. And then click on SIM pin. And if this option is disabled, then simply enable it and then put your favorite pin in there. And then if someone steals your pin, you won't know what to do with it because he doesn't know the password, which is going to probably save your life in this case. And lastly, number 10, make your phone know where you're driving. There are many people out there who when drive, they can still hear their phone vibrating or ringing. Now this can be very distracting because you're driving and you want to concentrate on driving. And this can be really dangerous in some cases. So there's a way to make your phone know when you're driving. But simply navigate to settings, scroll it down to do not disturb, and go to activate, and then click on automatically. And after that, when you are going to drive, your phone will automatically know that you're driving and then it's going to block any kind of calls or notifications or things like this. It's not going to block them, but it's going to mute your phone, so you're not going to hear anything from your phone, which is going to make your journey more secure. And that brings to the end of this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Drop a comment. Please let me know what is your favorite setting that you saw in this video, and what you're going to change the settings so you just watch this video because you were bored or anything like this. Just let me know down in the comments. Share this video with your friends, let me know about those settings and convince them to change them. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to visit this channel, do watch more videos like this. And lastly, I have made a small poll on my Facebook fan page where I'm asking you what kind of content you would like to see me in this new year in 2018. So simply navigate to my Facebook fan page, hit the like button, it's called Tech Pocket Official. And at the very top of my post, you're going to see this question. And it's only going to take 10 seconds to comment below on this post of what you would like to see in 2018 from my channel. So thanks for watching guys and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.